guys, welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars, the results show. So they started off the show with a pro dance, which had all of the pros plus all of the troop members. It was a jazzy, ballroomish, big production number in black and white. Um, it was pretty cool. There was a whole lot going on there. Um, it was a lot to take in. It was a lot of look, but it was pretty awesome. So then uh, they had a little recap, including some behind the scenes footage, which was pretty cool. Thank God they got rid of the one hour long recap show that they used to show before the results show every week. It's a waste of time. Waste of time, kids. Good move. All right, so they start the results right away and Ingo and Kim, you're safe. Ingo, Kim, safe. Ingo, Kim, safe. <laughs> Their sound system wasn't working. It's not the first time that it's been hard to hear in the ballroom, but they it was just like they were totally clue, clueless. They were just like waiting. Finally, somebody said, hey, you're safe. So <laughs> it happened for a few of the other couples too, but none to the extent that that first one. So the first couple in Jeopardy is Victor and Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> Then the Encore, which was decided by whoever got the most tweets last night with hashtag Encore, was Zendaya and Val, and this was fan-freaking-tastic. Best number of the season so far. I can only I I I don't know how it's going to get any better because she is just so polished already as a dancer. She's just really good. Lisa and Gleb are the second couple in Jeopardy. Uh-oh, hot dog. That makes me sad because I really like Lisa. Gleb, not so much. He's some eye candy, but he's kind of like uh, Maxim, but like light version. <laughs> Younger, lighter version. Uh, then there's a video package on... Oh, the show is so scary. I've never been so scared. And it's so hard to learn the dances. <laughs> they dance for like 90 seconds. And they have a whole week to learn a new dance. <sighs> is it hard to cash those paychecks too? Because they're paying you an awful lot of money. <laughs> and I'm sure they've had like worse moments in their career where they were just like, you know, scared. Scared. Anyhow, Icona Pop comes out next, and it's, I wanted to say it's two turntables and a microphone, but it's only one turntable and two girls. <laughs> some black lights, some phosphorescent makeup, uh, some dancers in little shorty unitards, some in pants. It was interesting. If you like that. <laughs> I think they're from another country. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to look them up. I guess I'll look them up later, but it was interesting. Then they did a little uh, small video package on the noobs. Whitney, she's new to the troupe. She was on So You Think You Could Dance. She was friends with Lindsay, who's a pro. New, you know, these are all new this year. She was also on So You Think You Could Dance. And then Julian, no claim to fame except that he's awesome at ballroom. And Gleb, he's from Russia. All right, so they all did a four-part dance together, which was really amazing. They, they did a good job. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. This part of the show, really enjoyed. Followed by Josh Groban, who uh, is pretty awesome in his own right. But then, to be treated to Chelsea Hightower and Dimitri Chaplin accompanying... Uh, you know, him with their dance was pretty amazing. Chelsea and Dimitri are one of my all-time favorite couples on the show, so it was nice to see them. And they did a really beautiful dance, too. So then we find out that the final couple in Jeopardy was Andy and Sharna, and I'm, like, having a fit now because I don't want them to go. They're, like, my favorite. So we find out that Andy and Sharna are safe. Oh, thank you. And then, <laughs> then dramatic music. It's either Victor and Lindsay or Lisa and Gleb going home. But wait, kids. Dorothy Hamill has an announcement to make. 
what could this be? So her doctor said, uh, don't do the show. So she's not doing the show anymore. She's withdrawing. And all I could think of is poor freaking Tristan. He always gets screwed. <laughs> He's one of the hottest guys on the show, and he always gets screwed. Can't you give him a decent dancer for once? All right. Next week, it's prom night. <laughs> I can only imagine. I could see it right now. I could see Sean the Bachelor in a powder blue suit. That's what, that's what I, is conjured up in my brain when I think, oh, prom night. Or Andy Dick in a chocolate crap brown suit with ruffles. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Don't use my, my ideas, ABC. All right, till next time, much love.